Hello, hello, my beautiful people. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Goretti and I am the counselor at Butterfly Project. So today I wanted to do a video in regards to battling the ego. And what I mean by that is, if you don't already know, our ego is basically our subconscious mind. So it is all the programming that we got in childhood. Um, and, you know, <clears throat> the ego has been there since the beginning of time and it is there to help us, right? So the ego is there uh, back, you know, like I said, beginning of time when we were living out in the wild, fighting off animals, you know, uh, trying to survive, you know, uh, with, you know, finding food and, and things like that. Um, you know, that's the purpose of the ego. So what the ego does is, because the ego is trying to help, it doesn't know anything else, um, but the ego uses whatever is in your subconscious mind to be able to help you. And what it does is it instills fear into you. So it brings up fears within you to be able to protect you. That's its number one job. You know, great, thank you. You know, I'm not gonna get eaten by that bear, you know, when I'm out in the wild. Um, but in today's world, unfortunately, um, um, you know, it brings up these subconscious fears and literally when these fears come up, I mean, even though it's false, appear, uh, false evidence appearing real, these fears really do feel so real to us, right, in those moments. And that is when the ego just takes over, okay? And, um, you know, you get the fight or flight response, you know, so this could be like fear of approaching somebody maybe that you want to talk to or maybe it's public speaking or anything like that so it brings up fears you think you're facing you know a bear uh when really you're not um but that is what your body is experiencing okay and the fears really do feel real in that moment like i said so um lots of times you know when we're dealing with with these things when these fears come up really the battle is with the ego the battle is with your own subconscious mind essentially is what i'm saying um so how do we deal with that right when we are battling the ego lots of the work that i teach is about reprogramming your subconscious mind it is about shifting perspectives shifting into a new mindset okay mindset is everything and there's so many different ways to do this we can use gratitude so doing gratitude techniques we can do affirmations affirming to ourselves. we can practice mindfulness and being in the present moment right all of these things really help the other thing is being aware of your triggers aware of what things create these fears to come up and when they do come up, if you can try not to, you know, kind of give into the fear right off the hop, if you can just have a split second where you're aware, remember I always say this, awareness is key, right? When you are aware that these fears are coming up from your ego, you can quickly just pause for a moment, take a step back, take a breather, and then this is how you can overcome that, okay? So, so many times, you know, when, when we're going through these fears, um, we're having these conversations in our mind, right? Literally, we're stuck in our minds um, with our ego. You're basically battling yourself. You're battling the ego part of you, which is that part that is trying to protect you, that is using things in your subconscious mind from your childhood, from past, you know, situations, from past relationships, whatever it is. Um, it could have to do with health or money, whatever this is. Things that happened to you in the past, but especially in your childhood, all of this is in your subconscious. Your ego can only access your memory bank to go and get these to use those things to bring up fear so it can be like remember the last time that this happened remember the last time this person said this or remember the last time you had that um you know issue with your health or remember the last time you got a bunch of money what happened to it you know like those kinds of things so the ego uses what happened to you in the past what's in the memory bank what's in the subconscious mind to be able to bring up those fears and it's doing it just to protect you okay this is why i am constantly stressing that people do spiritual practices having some sort of routine where you're tapping into your spiritual side where you're connecting to the spiritual part of you that could be through meditation that could be through deep breathing that could be through you know um 
I just did some videos on like your morning and night routines, incorporating, you know, deep breathing and doing a gratitude list. As we do these things, um, we have an easier time kind of having, I don't want to, having power and control over the ego within us. Okay. The thoughts, the belief systems, the subconscious mind, the things that no longer serve us. Because most of the time, the ego is bringing up things that no longer serve you, okay? Like they're in the past, um, but it's bringing up these fears, right? The other thing is when we do practice that mindfulness, practicing being in the present moment, practicing grounding techniques, so going within your body and feeling your body, this is when you can really, and maybe using some meditation or deep breathing, you can really tap into what is it that you are feeling exactly? What is the fear? And just like in the horror movies, when we face the fear, usually that's when it goes away, or I think that's how it works. But, um, you know, so if you guys can face those fears, um, it's like popping, you know, the balloon of imagination the false evidence appearing real, right? When we can be mindful, when we can be aware of what they are and then face them, this is how you win the battle with the ego, okay? So practicing mindfulness is huge because what happens, you guys, is the more you start practicing being mindful and being in the present moment and bringing awareness to your thoughts and feelings, bringing awareness to fears that come up and things like that, you know, being aware during this battle with the ego, what happens is over time, you'll notice that without even trying, you start becoming more and more aware of these thoughts that you're having, the negative self-talk as well that you're having, okay? So this is, um, you know, basically the battle uh, of the ego, right? We are just battling ourselves. We're battling our own mind, our own thoughts, our own negative, you know, subconscious programming, the beliefs, right? Um, negative thought patterns, whatever it is. So the battle really is with the ego. So if you can, um, you know, um, conquer your ego, okay? The ego is never going to go away. It's always there. It's there for our protection. It's actually a good thing, right? Don't cross the street when cars are, you know, <laughs> coming, right? It definitely does help you. But you guys, um, you know, to kind of conquer the ego, we do need to be aware. And just so that you guys know, another thing with conquering the ego that I teach all my clients, and this is so interesting, try it if you don't believe me. But the ego is, tries to make you believe that it's in charge, but actually it's in your mind, right? It's in, it's in your head. Who's in charge? You are you're actually in charge of your ego. The ego tries to make you think that it's in charge because it's super loud and obnoxious, right? Our intuition is very quiet and soft and subtle, that inner voice, but the ego is really loud because it's trying to protect you. So you guys, um, you have the power over the ego. So one thing that you can actually do is when you start hear hearing the negative thoughts, the negative chatter, right? The, that battle with the ego, when you start hearing that, you can actually basically talk to your ego and say, stop, you know, talk to the hand, shut it. I don't want to hear it. You know, don't talk to me, <laughs> right? Basically, you can tell your ego to shut up is what I'm saying. Okay, I'm trying to be, you know, super nice on here and new, not use certain words, but you can use, you know, you can swear at your ego, tell it, you know, basically it's kind of like a separate entity almost from you, okay? But it is within you and you have control over it. So you have the power. Do not let your ego fool you into believing that it is in control, but because it's not. Okay, you are the one in control. This is how you conquer the battle with the ego. All right, my loves, I hope that this was helpful for you guys. Don't forget to do all the things. A like, comment down below. Love hearing from you guys. Share this video with anybody that you think it might be helpful for. And also, uh, don't forget to, uh, to hit the bell icon so you get notified of new videos. And if you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and do so. I would absolutely love to have you here as part of this ever-growing butterfly community. 
All right, you guys. And don't forget, you have the power over your ego. So when your ego starts, as long as you can become aware of what that you know negative uh, talk is, you guys have the power to conquer the ego by telling it to stop and also doing all these techniques, like I said, to bring awareness and mindfulness to it um, because awareness is key. You can't change something you're not aware of. So if you can be aware of that battle with the ego, right, you guys have control to conquer it. All right, my loves, thanks so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And as always, I wish you all peace, love, and light. Until next time, bye-bye.